Hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about needle exchange program. And what I'm about to say may be surprising to you, but I think we should give needles to drug users so they can get high. This is not a new concept. This was the type of thinking behind needle exchange program. Needle exchange programs are beneficial to the entire community. A very close relative of mine has been battling drug addiction for almost 10 years. Drug users cannot simply just stop using drugs. It takes time and a lot of work. During this time, needle exchange programs can provide safety for drug users while they get the help that they need. I'm gonna tell you why needle exchange programs are a good idea. They reduce the spread of infection, they save our healthcare system money, and they provide a means for proper disposal of dirty and used needles. Let me explain how they reduce the spread of infection. In an article written by Dr. David Lewis, who is the director for the Center of Alcohol and Addiction Studies at Brown University, he stated that by providing clean needles to IV drug users, we could possibly prevent 11,000 new cases of HIV every year. Non-supporters of these programs would have you believe that having access to clean needles promotes drug use. Here's a clean needle. You want it? You can go use some drugs. You gonna shoot up? You are? No. 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 You're not gonna do that. <laughs> you want this so you can go use drugs? No. People who are not on drugs would not take a clean needle and go shoot up. The only people who would use a clean noodle, needle are IV drug users. The National Institute of Health Consensus on HIV prevention stated that an impressive body of evidence suggests powerful effects from needle exchange programs. Studies show reduction in high-risk behavior by up to 80% and a 30% or greater reduction in HIV. So that shows that these needle exchange programs actually reduces high-risk behavior and it does not promote it. It also showed that IV drug users would use a clean needle instead of a dirty needle if they had access to it. By reducing HIV in drug users, we're also protecting their sexual partners and the unborn children of mothers who use drugs as HIV and other blood-borne diseases can be transmitted to the baby through the mother. Not only do needle exchange programs provide clean needles, they also provide HIV education and counseling. They pass out free condoms, they do free HIV testing, and they make referrals to drug counseling. By arming the public with these resources, it is a valuable preventative measure against bloodborne diseases. Now let's look at how needle exchange programs save our healthcare system money. The opposers believe that they are too expensive, which is why these programs are not federally funded. But let's do some math on it. The average cost of a needle is about 97 cents. So let's say a person used a clean needle every time they got high. Let's say every hour for 24 hours every day for a year. Even using drugs that much would only cost about $9,000 a year. And that's the imprisoned journey. The average cost of HIV prevention is between four and $12,000 a year. The estimated cost of treating a person with HIV is $190,000 per person per year. So if you do the math, it'll show you that you could potentially save between $178,000 to $186,000 per infected individual. The last thing I want to address is how these programs promote public safety by providing a proper way to dispose of these used needles. In some neighborhoods, the streets are riddled with used syringes. They're found in parks, playgrounds, and schoolyards. And this is a reality for some people. Even if a used needle is thrown in the garbage, the people who have to handle that garbage are at risk for being exposed to a used needle. So they could get stuck by it and become infected. When a person comes to receive a clean needle, they also have the opportunity to bring in their used needles for proper disposal. This is a shark container. 
and this is what healthcare workers use to place contaminated sharp objects. Once this is full, it's placed in a biohazard box and is shipped to a medical waste facility where it's destroyed. Again, needle exchange programs are beneficial to the entire community, not just drug users. I've explained how they reduce the spread of infection, how they save our healthcare system money, and how they provide a way to dispose of dirty needles. If there's ever a public petition for a needle exchange, I encourage you to sign it. If there's ever a proposition to have one in your own community, I encourage you to vote yes. The struggle of addiction is hard enough in itself. Imagine how much harder it would be to have to fight a life-threatening disease at the same time especially when it could have been prevented.